Animal Channel presents The Crocodile Stalker <clears throat> Traveling around the world in search of exotic wildlife Then annoying the crap out of them Now, here's Steve Thank you, love, and g'day Steve here And today we're in beautiful Mexico And we're here to prove a point Environmentalists all over the world have always contended that progress destroys natural areas and results in the disruption of indigenous wildlife and sometimes even the extinction of certain species. But like old Steve always says, just when you think you've got Mother Nature figured out, she throws a curveball your way. And there's no better example than right here in gorgeous Mexico City and the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez Road Course Racetrack. It's vacant now. But a couple of weeks ago, it was wall-to-wall -wall sports fans. You know, a lot of our mates out there are concerned with the environment, and that's a good thing. But sometimes they take things too far, like standing in the way of progress. But this is one of those cases that resulted in the exact opposite. You see, when they built this speedway, they were hoping that someday the NASCAR crowd would show up. But they got more than they bargained for. The creation of a new species. Skankus Mexicali Reptilicus, or the Mexican Pit Lizard. It's amazing. The moment the track was finished, they appeared by the hordes, as if by magic. <laughs> right on cue. And she's a beauty. In fact, the whole species are sheilas. Rare indeed. But like I said, Mother Nature's got a wicked curveball. Let's get a closer look. I'm looking for any others, but she appears to be all by herself. That's strange because they usually travel in packs. <laughs> Let's try to get closer. The Mexican pet lizard is known for the enormous, ornate crest on top of its head, which comes in a variety of colors and usually lacquered into any number of shapes. Its brilliant facial colors are broad, thick bands around the eyes and across the cheeks. The thick, Bright red lips curl back across two rows of razor-sharp teeth. And look at those nails. Crikey, about four inches long and each one a different color. I don't think she's seen us yet. She's wandering around the now vacant pit area, apparently in search of something. There was a big race here not long ago. So it's not unusual for the Mexican pit lizard to return to the scene of past conquests. <laughs> a most amazing beastie. The Mexican pit lizard is inexplicably drawn to all things American, especially good old NASCAR. That's why I'm wearing this spanking leather Jeff Gordon jacket. She gets a gander at this and who knows what she'll do. <laughs> it's working. She's making her way over here. She's a little cautious. Well, let's see if we can get her attention. Let's see if I have anything else American on me. Ah, oh, here we are. A twenty-dollar bill. <laughs> and here she comes. Just awesome. The most notable feature of the Mexican pit lizard is the enormous chest, which they proudly display to attract a suitor. Just look at how full and ample they are. Ay, 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 cabron, achichi. Oh, oh ay, looks ay, like ay, I struck a nerve. Meow. She's gone bonkers. And she took my 20. No mames, cabron. Mato tus cojones. Wow, what a noise. I wonder what she's on about. Ay, ay, ay. Does anyone on the crew know what cojones means? Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, sweetheart. Well, I, I think this would be the time to back off and... Call it a day before she decides to use those razor sharp nails. <laughs> well, it, it could be worse. It could have been a whole pack of them. Oh! Oh! Don't worry, folks. I'm okie dokie. Just bonzers. I'm sure the bleeding will stop soon. I hope. <laughs> Nothing a few hundred stitches won't fix. Ooh, and a big bag of ice to take that swelling down. 
Well, at least my leather Jeff Gordon jacket is in one piece. Do you say Jeff Gordon? He is so sexy. And so are you, you big hot tamale, you. Well, good news and bad news. The good news is we finally found the male of the Mexican pit lizard species. The bad news? Come here and give me a hug. I think he likes me. Get off! Away! Stop kissing me! Don't touch! Oh, no tongues! Tune in again next week for another episode of The Crocodile Stalker. I know what will take this whaling down. <laughs> Maybe. 